everyone, welcome back to my channel and also welcome down here to my own small guitar club which is where I wanted to be located for this brand new video series which I've called How I Played It. As you might know, my musical influences are rock, hard rock and metal. I'm straight from there, man. And when I've been asked to start composing and producing Eurobeat music, I couldn't help to bring my ex on in trying to fit my previous musical experience into the new one. My own guitar parts stood out since the very first dance tracks I did in the early 90s and all that sounded very bizarre back then. But I was lucky though. Many fans and DJs reacted very well to it. And of course, many other guitar players showed up by asking questions like Why didn't you play only power chords over here? How can it happen that you held main melody line with your riff big time? How that solo exactly goes note for note? And so on. Well, here I am, people. One single track per video and all of your questions about my own guitar playing in Eurobeat will be answered at last. But even before I go any further, please make sure you have subscribed to this channel by also clicking the little bell to be notified as a brand new video is released. By one different video series on this channel, which I've called Tunes Explained, I've started walking my path in putting the Sinclair style into a bigger picture, which is also my record label company's name, by the way. One of the main ingredients in such a way to music is pure song writing, which I talked more about in Tunes Explained. Anyway, composing, arranging and mixing makes no difference to me. Musically speaking, everything in a song must be arranged and positioned as one solid package. Enhancing and supporting the main melody line is exactly what, in my mind, a guitar part must do. Exactly the same a synth does. The mere provision in some distorted sound functioning like a pad can add the overall sound more power, but it will never help the musical part. By this brand new video series, I wanted to show you guys all my peculiar way in adding guitar parts to Eurobeat and Techno. So no guitar note for no tutorial on here. I didn't mean that for this series. So this first video is gonna be on Take Me To The Top by D Essex, which really stood out by representing my own typical combination of super power energy and melodic sense. I can easily say that here the Sinclair style is fully represented on the spot. Let's dig into it right after the intro. Take Me To The Top is very simple in its harmonic envelope, being basically based on two different keys. E major for the verses and bridge and F sharp minor for the refrain and the synth phrase. By the way, for this kind of exposure, I like to mix music sheets and guitar tablature. In order for all of you guys to better catch my own guitar arrangement right on top of the song's chorus progressions. And I'm gonna show it to you as well as I've recorded back in 1996. Anyway, I was in the possession of many axes in my life and of course I cannot remember which one I've used to record this song but it likely was this Gibson Les Paul. So take me to the top step by step. My main idea in arranging my Eurobeat songs has always been about playing some of the typical dance synth parts on the guitar in hard rock style. For example, I'm sure you guys all remember Van Halen's Panama. This is one example of a typical synth-like phrase played heavy rock on the guitar. So as Take Me To The Top verse goes like this. I didn't want my guitar chords to be that trivial. Instead, I wanted some synth like guitar parts, and so I created this. Now, 
the bridge in the key of E major goes like this. In this case, I wanted my guitar part to be pretty much cheesy. Very simple, but powerful at the same time, like this. song I didn't go with the real guitar solo but at the end of the bridge I came up with a kind of shredding lick in the style of a sequencer. In the refrain the main melody line goes like this. Take me to the I gotta feel it going and I wanted it to be underlined by two notes playing like this. Take me to the top, top, top. I got a feeling going hot, hot, hot. Please notice that at the second bar there's a suspended E2, while at the fourth bar there's a suspended E5. So I made the guitar riff like this. The same phrase is as powerful as it's simple. So I made the riff easy going with the flow by enhancing the rhythmic envelope. That's all folks, I hope you guys have enjoyed this first episode of How I Played It, where my own songwriting and the Sinclair style are exposed. And if you guys feel like having some nice Brad Sinclair customized guitar picks, please find the link in the description below. As always, I'd really like you guys to bring me a great deal of pleasure by increasing this channel's subscribers amount. Stay safe and tuned for more. Peace out.